hello everybody in this video we are going to discuss about the basic framework of the classification done on the domain bacteria okay so if we look at the domain bacteria it is an independent domain created by Carl Woos and the other two domains are eukarya and the archaea now this domain bacteria contains only one single kingdom which is also called as bacteria okay so the kingdom is bacteria so only one kingdom bacteria of the domain bacteria now this kingdom bacteria can be further classified into numerous phylum and there these are this numeral numerous phylums which can be classified under the kingdom bacteria so this broadly classified into gram positive gram negative and unknown or ungrouped ungrouped type so gram positive and gram negative we have already discussed what are the distinguishing features of it if you don't know you can click at the link which will appear somewhere over here which can direct you to the video now I have not told till now that every bacteria every bacterial species does not always go into gram positive or gram negative so easily many times there are the, uh, different type of bacteria having a different structure which doesn't fit into either of these groups and there are so many bacteria as you can see so many phylums of bacteria who are unknown or ungrouped and these bacteria are less studied and therefore I had also told maybe that we had also created another way of distinguishing bacteria that is the zeal Nielsen staining process that is a a topic of another video okay so that is the unknown or ungrouped and you can see the phylum pretty much now the actinobacteria the firmicutes the tenericutes so these are all gram positive bacteria with high G actinobacteria contains high g plus c content so that is a feature distinguishing feature of actinobacteria although when we will see it in much more detail we will see some exceptions to this also and the firmicutes contain low g plus c but there will be again exceptions but mostly they contain this okay so uh, this were the gram these are the gram positive bacteria so tenericutes don't have any type of wall around them they contain the mycoplasms mycoplasmas and all those okay now the gram negative bacteria we have the aquifis e fcb fcb group the Dinococcus thermus, Fusobacteria, Gemanitodes, Nitrospiry, PVC group and all that we have. I don't want to read it all. It will be a waste of time. Anyways, and another thing I want to mention is this. The motive for creating this video is that you can actually, when I will make videos on each of the topics, you can uh, use this video to link those videos. Means when I will be make a video on the Actinobacteria, if you click over here then you will be uh, directed to the actinobacteria video okay so that was all i wanted to discuss in this video thank you and meet you in the next videos bye